I really enjoyed art and design, so did A-level art. I did a degree at Loughborough College of Art and Design, and then I went on and did a master's degree at the Royal College of Art, and then set up my studio straight away. I knew I needed a push, a distraction, an adventure, and I got all of that from being on the show. I really learned about my strengths and weaknesses as a jeweller and the show gave me an opportunity to do that and I really learned about the things I wasn't good at and those are the things that I'm working on now. Um, Sean and Solange, they were very supportive and encouraging to me, all of us in fact. They wanted us to get as much as we could out of being on the show as designers and jewellers. Huge amounts of respect for them. The brooch, the brooch I made in episode two was a big turning point for me because I finally decided I'm going to make something that I like and that I enjoy and I loved making it and I was really happy with it. I made a ring for a lady a couple of years ago who was celebrating a big birthday and it was 20, 22 karat yellow gold with a raw diamond. She wanted the setting in such a way that you could see as much of the stone as possible. I learned so much from making the ring. The end result was something I was really happy with. I think sometimes those kind of commissions are the ones that are most important to you as a jeweller where you may not make much money, but you learn so much from the process. So that was a really important piece for me. I'm often inspired by materials. You know, I know my work has a very natural, organic aesthetic to it. I know I'm really inspired by materials and techniques and doing things a little bit differently. Yellow gold is one of my favourite materials, particularly 18 karat and 22 karat gold. I've also recently, and this is only in the past year or two, been working in platinum more. Um, I'd love to do more with platinum. Again, you can do an awful lot with it, so looking forward to doing more with that as well. I treated myself to a really expensive pair of dividers last year and revolutionised the way I work, I would say. And I don't know why I didn't buy these years ago. If you're starting out as a jeweller, I would say patience is key. Patience, focus, determination, resilience. Those are all things you're going to need time and time again.